celebrating? No, I just like champagne. That's festive. What? Festive. Do you want some? Sure. Uh, I'm done. You can take the rest with you. Oh, no, thanks. Take it. I'm done. No, I shouldn't. I'm driving. Well, I can let myself out. Good. When should I come back? Come back? Yeah, I am nowhere near finished. How much longer do you need? Another week, at least. Are you joking? No. Do you know how much stuff there is? A week? Someone needs to go do your dad's paper. There's nothing up there. It's garbage. There are a hundred and three notebooks. He was a graphomaniac, Harold. Do you know what that is? I know. He wrote compulsively. There's no connection between the ideas. There's no ideas. It's like a monkey at a typewriter. A hundred and three notebooks full of bullshit. <laughs> when your dad was younger than both of us, he made major contributions to three fields, game theory, algebraic geometry, and non-linear operator theory. Most of us never get our heads around one. He basically invented the mathematical techniques for studying rational behavior, and he gave astrophysicists plenty to work over, too. Okay? Don't lecture me. I'm not. I'm telling you that if I came up with one-tenth of the shit your dad produced, I could write my own ticket into any math department in the country. Give me your backpack. What? Give me your backpack. Why? I want to look inside it. What? Open it and give it to me. Oh, come You're on. not taking anything out of this house. I wouldn't do that. You're hoping to find something upstairs you can publish? Sure. And then you can write your own ticket. What? No, it would be under your dad's name. It would be for your dad. I don't believe you. I know you have a notebook in that backpack. What are you talking about? Give it to me. I think you're being a little bit paranoid. Just because I'm paranoid doesn't mean there isn't something in that backpack. You just said yourself there's nothing up there, didn't you? I didn't you say that? Yes. So what would I take? Right? You're right. Thank you. So you don't have to come back. Please. Someone should know for sure whether there was- I lived with him. I spent my life with him. After my mother died, it was just me here. He kept demanding more and more books. I took them out of the library by the carload. We had hundreds upstairs. And then I realized he wasn't reading. He believed aliens were sending him messages through the Dewey Decimal numbers on the library books. He was trying to work out the code. <laughs>